So let's move on to the solution. So once again, we want to find the potential. And as usual, we use the formula where we add up the potential contribution from each individual point. So here we're going to apply the formula. So here is the charge. So, so the surface charge density times r dr d theta. So in our case, uh, I'm going to imagine there's a z-axis here, so this length is going to be r, this is going to be the x-axis, and there's going to be an angle theta over here. So r dr d theta, that's going to be a tiny piece of the surface multiplied by the surface charge density, that's going to be the amount of charge. And then we need to divide this by the distance. So the distance, let's say we're calculating this point, the distance is going to be this length over here. So if this length is r, this is z, then this length is going to be r squared plus z squared. So let's do just that. So divide this by r squared plus z squared. And then r goes from 0 to big R, and then theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. And that essentially draws out the circle. So I'm going to get rid of the theta term first, because inside you see there are no theta terms, so I could just get rid of the integral and multiply this whole thing by 2 pi. So 4 pi epsilon. I'm going to also move the constant out, outside. So here this integral is, act, is actually pretty simple because we can use the substitution. So I'll let u be equal to r squared plus z squared. So du dr is going to be equal to 2r. So r dr is going to be equal to 1 half of du. So this is going to be equal to, so these cancel out, so we get this expression here. So r dr is going to be 1 half of du. The r squared plus z squared, that's going to be u, right? So we have a square root of u. And our bounds, it goes from substituting 0 in, it goes from z squared all the way to z squared plus r squared. And so integrating this, I'm just going to pull the 1 half outside, so this becomes 4. So integrating this, we get u to the power of 1 half times 2. So now we can just substitute the numbers in. So here we get... So we have a 2, so let's just pull that out. Then we have a square root of z squared plus r squared minus the square root of z squared. So there you have it. So with a tiny bit of simplification, we get this result. z squared plus r squared minus z. So this is our answer.